B mark. Angela Sice. Come in. If there's an opportunity for humor, I'm going to grab it. That's one of the things I want to see. I want to watch a character who has the proper chutzpah to do things that I would never do. Chuck it then? Yes. Before I say the lie. How do you come up with someone like Philip? He kind of was born out of watercolor that I'd done. That guy's face was the inspiration. That's what I saw in my head. And then, you know, you put a voice to him and backstory, add the ingredients and stir it up and see what you come up with. That's the part of the process that I love, is the exploration and the dig. You know, you're trying to find these parts and piece them together. And I'll read the script first time and I'll make just notes, it, it, automatic notes. You know, I, I don't want to even think about what I'm writing. Just first thought, bam, put it down, give it a minute, and then go at it again and try and beat the first thought. But most of the time, intuition, instinct, observation, silence is a very important thing. Stay silent and listen. That's how you find people. That's how you know people. Is part of your method writing like a backstory? Sure, yeah. You need to have some idea of what makes this person the way he is. I figured he'd be someone who doesn't hit the outside much. <laughs> I figured that he would stay inside with his trinkets and his things and his memories and his vision is impaired. You know, he's essentially blind. When the kid first enters and he's completely taken by surprise that I'm feeling his face and saying he's the spitting image of his father and I can't see an inch in front of me. From that to suddenly taking control of the guy, you know, because he's a bill collector, right? He's a bill collector. So I'm gonna con him right out of my shop. Did I ever tell you about the time when I was in the middle of the Arabian Sea? I, I felt like I'd arrived. I felt like I'd found the guy that I was looking for in Philip, absolutely. In essence, Philip was an adventure. I think the set told a lot of his backstory. As he says, you know, these are these are treasures from my adventures. Seeing the set and seeing the things that are alive in that set, it definitely helped to define Philippe. I was blown away because I could not have imagined it any better. It, it meshed. It, it meshed beautifully with, with you guys. And, and uh, I, I was so, oh my God, yeah. Crew was a truly amazing man. And man, Francisco, fantastic, yeah, man. Yeah, really great. You know, you could throw a curveball and he's right there. And when I stopped him and brought him into the candles, we hadn't blocked that out. I just did it. And having the freedom to, to make those kind of choices in the instant, that's what I really loved about making this little piece is that um, it was absolute freedom to create a character that I believe would serve the story. Do you happen to play the flute, son? No, senor. But well, then pay attention, man! Well, what are you waiting for? Adventure awaits you, son. <laughs>